All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through setting up Stephen Pope's NCA toolkit. This is a very talked about tool. It's becoming more of a viable service that we are using as content creators, having access to video editing and those kinds of things in N8N and automation tools is super fun. So let's get it set up. I'm going to walk you through getting it installed in your Google Cloud console. Going that route lets you set up a billing account where you only get charged for the credits you're actually using. DigitalOcean is the other installation guy that Steven has for this thing. Using Google, I can pay as I go, and that is definitely my favorite model to go with. So let's get this thing set up and jump into it. So let's jump right in. First, you're going to need to come to Stephen Pope's GitHub repository. This is the no code architects toolkit. I'll throw this link in the description of this video, and he's got everything right here for you. So we're going to be installing this on Google Cloud. So the next thing I'm going to open up the Google Cloud console. You can just search for console.cloud.google.com and come into your Google Cloud console. Once you're in your Google Cloud console, log in with your Gmail account. So I'm just on my Gmail account right here. My screen is going to look different than yours if you haven't set any of this up before. But what you're going to need to do is come up here, click on this button and we can start a new project. So come up here to the top, click on new project. You can name this project, whatever you want. I'll name mine NCA Toolkit Demo. Click Create. Once that loads up, you can select your new project right here. And now we are inside of your new project. So next thing we need to do is enable some things. So we're going to come up to the three little lines, come down to APIs and services. Click on that. Click on Enable APIs and Services, and we can type in what we need right here. So we're going to type in Cloud Storage API. We're going to need these two right here, Cloud Storage and Google Cloud Storage JSON API. So I'm going to click on this one, but open it in a new browser tab. Come into my new browser tab and click on Enable right here. Mine is already enabled, so you can click the Enable button if you need to. I'm going to come back into my previous browser tab. Same thing for this one, open it up in a new browser window. Click on enable if you need to enable it. Come back into my first browser tab and let's search for a new one. This is the Cloud Run API. That one right there, Cloud Run Admin API. I'll open that in a new browser tab, come into that tab and we can enable this one. So the Cloud Run Admin API requires a project with a billing account. Like I said, you can set up your billing account, but it's very cheap to run Steven's toolkit with Google. So I'm going to click on enable billing and it says billing account is not found. So let's close this out. I'm going to come back into my original browser tab over here. Click on the three little lines right there. Come down to billing. That is the next section down and we can click on link billing account. Click on create new billing account right here. Choose the account you want to enable. Click agree and continue. Click on create new payments profile and you can enter in your information here. Click create, add a payment method, click add bank account and you can add your banking information right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that and meet you on the next page. This page will tell you about how to verify your checking account with Google. After you have enabled your billing and you have the Cloud Run Admin API enabled, we continue on. All right, so come up to the three little lines, drop that down again. We're going to come into this one right here. I am an admin and you can come down to service accounts. Click on create service account. I'm just going to name my account right here. NCA toolkit SA demo and click on create and continue. Come down, drop this down, type in storage admin. Click on that storage admin. Click add another role, drop that down, type in viewer, click on viewer, click continue and click done. Now you can find your new service account right here. Make sure it's the one you just named correctly right there. Click on that one, come into keys, click on add key, create new key, leave it as JSON, click create. And here is your key. Now this is going to save to your computer. It automatically just downloads straight to your computer. You can click close. Great. Let's come back up to the three little lines. We're going to come down to cloud storage. Click on that. You can come into buckets. At the top, click on create, or if you have nothing in here, click on create bucket. Now you can name your bucket. I'll name mine NCA toolkit, digital automation diagram demo. You can name your bucket how you want. Come down to create, uncheck this box right here, click confirm. 
And now you've got your bucket up like that. Next, come into permissions. Click here to grant access for new principles. Type in here, type in all users, just like that. Select all users right there. For the role, drop this down, type in storage object viewer. Select that one right there, save it, and click on allow public access. Now we're gonna come back up to our main menu. We're gonna come down to Cloud Run, click on that, and we can click on create service. Now everything here is specific to Steven's setup, how he has everything named and labeled. So we have to put these items in here exactly the way that he needs them to be so that everything connects up and will work for you. So we're gonna leave this on Docker Hub for the container image can jump over to the GitHub repository. I'll put the link to this in the description of the video. I'm gonna scroll down and we can find the Google Cloud Run platform installation guide right here. I'll open this in a new browser window, come over to that, and we've got the Docker image right here. So I'm basically just following this guide to set this up. We're gonna enter in this, copy that, come back into the cloud run, paste that right here. For the region, we can find whatever is closest. I'm gonna choose US Las Vegas. We can change the service name here. That's gonna change this endpoint URL, something like that. Scroll down, click allow unauthenticated invocations. For billing, set this to instance based. You can leave this at zero. Click on this right here, containers, volumes, networking, security. That opens that up. We can scroll down further. So come straight down to resources. For the memory, Steven recommends 16 gigabytes. And for the CPU, we're gonna use four CPUs. Scroll down to maximum concurrent requests per instance. We'll change this to one. Click on second generation. And for number of instances, we can leave this at zero and maximum. We can set to five. That's what Steven recommends right there. Great, so let's scroll back up. We're gonna to come to the next section here, variables and secrets. This is again, where we have to enter in everything exactly the way Steven has it. It's all connected to his setup. So we need to make sure everything is named appropriately and exactly as I am adding here. So we're gonna add the first variable, click on that. For the first one, for the name, type in API key, all capital letters, API underscore key, all capital letters. For the value, we can put your API key right here. It's like a password, but this is gonna be a highly valuable API key for your service that you're setting up here. For this API key, what I'm gonna do is something like digital automation diagram API key, something like that as my actual API key. Okay, in the future, you can change this to something a lot more secure if you want. I'm gonna click on add variable. This one has to be typed exactly all uppercase GCP underscore bucket underscore name. Okay, in one of the other windows that we opened up, I'm gonna come into this other window, come back to my main menu, click the three little lines, come down to cloud storage, come into buckets, click on my bucket and copy this bucket name right here. Make sure there's no white space before or after. I'm gonna come back into cloud run and paste that into the value right there. Click add a variable, type in GCP, all uppercase, underscore, SA, underscore, credentials. Very important, it's exactly like that. Now for the value here, that file that got downloaded to your computer when we created that setup, we need to grab that file. So I'm gonna come into my downloads folder. This is that JSON file that was created. So I'm gonna open this up, just double click on it. This should open in a default text editor, whatever you want to open it up with. Looks like mine is gonna open up in Dreamweaver. So this will open up in a text editor. I'm gonna copy this entire JSON string, including the brackets, copy that and paste that entire thing in the value right here. Great, once that is done, we can come down, click on create. This will load up. And once it's finished, we should get a green check mark right here. You can see right here, it's importing layers. Got a couple left and there we go. Good to go. But this is your actual URL right here. If we're jumping into N8N, this is gonna be the first part of the URL that we post into the HTTP nodes to get those nodes running and to make calls to the services inside the toolkit. So we are set up and good to go. But what Steven recommends doing here is installing Postman. Postman looks like this and has all of the endpoints for all of the actions and all of the services. For example, 
FFmpeg compose concatenate has this endpoint right here we can attach to our base URL. So that would be something that goes after the base URL and the base URL is right here. Just having that stuff at a glance in Postman is one option you can do. The other option is just jumping back into the GitHub repository and checking out all the endpoints. So if we jump back into the no code architects toolkit GitHub repository and scroll down a bit, we can see some of these endpoints right here. API endpoints, we have audio concatenate. Here's the FFmpeg compose I just showed you, image convert, media convert, all these endpoints right here, ready to go. So for example, if I wanted to use the FFmpeg endpoint, I would put that together in a URL for an HTTP node in N8N. Let me show you how that looks. I'll quickly add a manual trigger in N8N, add an HTTP node, and for the URL, this is how we would compose a URL. If we jump back into the toolkit right here, we have this URL. I'm gonna copy that, come into N8N, paste that right there then drop in the appropriate endpoint I want to use. For example, FFmpeg. I'll come back into the GitHub repository, find this endpoint, copy this whole thing right there, come back into N8N and paste that right there. Now we're using the appropriate endpoint to make a call to that service. So using the GitHub repository, a very handy tool. If you click on any of these endpoints, you can see all the docs for that endpoint body parameters we need to add in. So if I was to actually use this node, these are all the elements we can add into that node. So all the documentation is right here. And guys, you are good to go. So that's it, guys. I hope you found this very useful. Definitely a little bit of a process getting through the Google stuff. Once you get that cloud run to start up, you are good to go. I'll put the links to the GitHub repository. I'll put the link to Steven's original instructional video on how to set this up. I'm gonna put the link to the Postman setup that he has there. And I'll put the link to his GPT for the NCA toolkit. If you're running into any errors, you can just paste your error into the NCA toolkit GPT and say, help me with this what's going on i don't know what i'm doing and steven has built a really good gpt to help you work through the process of getting things set up so i'll put all those links in the description of this video obviously credit goes to steven pope for putting this whole thing together making such an awesome tool shout out to steven and if you guys want to check out my school community see what i've got going on i've got some cool automations in my space as well i've got the link down below i appreciate you guys watching this video i will see you in the next one